It's the bass line like that that I love. I absolutely love it. So I feel like that because you're like, you can sing. <laughs> Yes, you'll hear the dulcet tones of my next guest for Mac the Week, Serena Alnor is in the house. <laughs> and uh, finishing off there, musically, Cy and I, oh, big, big R&B gospel group from Britain. London, one of London. In fact, no, I can't even say London because they mixed it up with the Mess Midlands peeps, Lindsay Campbell all over it in terms of production. Missing you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> How are you, my girl? I'm all right, Tom. How oh, are you? Oh, <laughs> my goodness me. I'm, I, I'm actually blown away, if I'm honest, oh, sure um, by, uh, by Ruth Holder. Oh. The, the two wonderful guests so far, Augusta Stewart, Ruth Holder. Yeah. Can you, you know, were you even remotely thinking that at 19? No, not to like do something, put something, some content together and, and put it out to the world. She's so confident, bless her. It's uh, it, amazing. Um, and but she's sold out and I, 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 I really want to go to the documentary. <laughs> so, yeah. But she's sold out, like I'm really upset oh, about that. Oh my goodness me. Anyway, for those of you listening, welcome to the show. Um, and just to take us up to news, we like to do Matt the Week, a bit of a, a, a not a comedic take, but just a, a, a light-hearted take on some of the news stories. Uh, one of those being, which I'll, I'll start off with, is Colleen Rooney um, turning detective. Wagga for Christie. Yeah. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> so ah, Wagga for Christie. No, I actually think she's really cool because... Like, the fact that she just deleted everyone off her Instagram and left the one person and was like, yeah, it's you, that was gangster. I know, she did. So, cool. yeah, for those who don't know, yeah, this is where, of course, you may have heard all it in the news. <laughs> she turned detective and she deleted everybody and mm -hmm. found out that this one particular character mm -hmm. who supposedly was following her mm -hmm. was passing on her stories. Yeah, because it's not nice at the end of the day. You know, you famous people are digging into your information as it is already. And then you've got people who are closest to you basically chatting your business. That's not cool. <laughs> it's not cool at all. Do you know what I mean? That's oh, like complete my... betrayal. Yeah. She's that's... not exactly broke why she needs to do that, really, is she? No, no. no. But it's, it just goes to show that actually they, they are feelings. Yeah. And I give her, I give her a due though, because she's a strong woman. Because some of the foolishness that Wayne's gone on with over the years, oh. she has done. You know, she means just show. Well, Nikki, at the end the of thing. the day, you know, who are we to judge? And she has to look after her family at the end of the day. Who, you know, how dare somebody pry into her business and then go and sell that to the newspaper as though their life is squeaky clean? Like, hello, mm -hmm. it's very true. Mean? Well, okay, that was one thing. And then something a bit more local for us here in the West Midlands in Birmingham, uh -huh. the HMV store is opening up now i've just played a track actually from cd no well i think it's awesome as a singer myself i think it's awesome because there's a new you know um a new a new culture well it's not even new the old culture of actually listening to music on vinyl on cd and things like that we we want to actually be able to give that to produce that and give that to our fans so what about the street you're not into the well i'm not saying you're not I, I, into the streaming streaming's cool but it's not you know, you don't have that kinesthetic, like you don't have the achievement of going to HMV, sitting, listening to the album, jamming to it, and that album buying into your psyche, and you're just like, you know what, I want to hear this at home. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you, it, that's what makes quality music when you know that people can hear it in a club, hear it in HMV or Virgin, and then they're like, yes, I'm going to buy that and go home, rather than them streaming it it just it just takes away the whole quality so you don't of music. so you don't think for h and v it's a, it's a major gamble i mean this is going to be the largest store I think apparently it's a gamble in europe for, for birmingham not gonna lie however you know the whole bringing it all back to opening places that are you know are music um incentives then i think i think that's fantastic well there you have but it primark's working so <laughs> <laughs> all of the stars are available though yes but yeah but Primarni in that sense Primark and that's the biggest one in Europe I know now, isn't it? although I have to be I can't I can't get in there I just, yeah, just right. too overwhelming and too weak for me I know I even wanted to go to the cafe with my daughter you know I don't know if it's Mickey Mouse I mean we had to queue for a jacket potato I was like nah yeah, get him go yeah, no yeah, like can't be us so there you have it so HMV the largest music store coming back with the vinyl CDs um, and the you know, Serena's saying that it's, it is something where actually I do, I love the pleasure of still holding the yeah. CD and the vinyl. So we'll and see what CD happens. Collection.